Oh, I didn't, I couldn't tell it was recording, so like... <coughs> Alright! Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Maddie, and if you're new, welcome to my channel. I got my Ipsy September box. I think I get like the ultimate bag, whatever the hell it's called. I used to get the regular size Ipsy, but I just didn't like all the sample sizes because I like to have big things. <laughs> yeah, I if my eyebrows are red, I just made a waxing video, so that should be out soon. Now, I always use everything I get in my Ipsy box. I know a lot of people say like they don't find useful things, but also take advantage of that little quiz they give you and change your answers when you need to of like what stuff you want to get and what stuff you don't want to get because I kind of forgot to update the quiz for a long time and I was getting a million eyeliners and now I have a million fucking eyeliners. eyeliners. This isn't even all of them. So update that as much as you can. You'll get stuff you need. So let's open this queen up. Let's, let's read the little pamphlet. Fucking good vibes. So this month we are radiating positivity. I'm mean, trying a bold new hairstyle to find the perfect fall lip color. Yeah, yeah, okay. Wrap it up, Ipsy. I feel like first I should so show the bag because this is like one of the first times they've done something different with their bag. They usually just have the little zipper bag, but this one is a drawstring one, which I think is pretty cute. And I think I would probably use it more, if anything. But... I like the I like the fall colors they're busting out now. I can't believe it's already fall time, dude. So that's the bag. Cute. They don't put the stuff in the bag for the ultimate box because everything's too big too, so they just throw that shit in there. I love getting new makeup and I usually since I have Ipsy, I don't have to go out and buy a lot of like face care and stuff. But the first thing we got So the first thing that I got is this pure Heels? By Nature Village, um, Centella 80 Eye Cream. But I'm happy about this is because I'm about to run out of the eye cream I'm currently using right now. And your girl got some dark circles. I, I feel like I'm, I'm getting a lot of like self-care stuff, not really makeup because I have a lot of fucking makeup. And next thing I got, speaking of which, is... This Spackle Mist Restore by Laura Geller, Coconut Water Prime Set Refresh. So, this seems to be, that's what I thought, okay. So it can be used to prime skin or it can set your look or any time throughout the day to refresh. Um, so it seems like an all-purpose kind of like makeup mist, which is always nice. I have a bunch of them, but like I said, I never really have to go shopping for setting sprays and stuff because they're hooking me up. Next thing on the list is this go-to fancy free nourishing oil cleanser oh bonus posh cloth okay all right I mean is it go to the brand or is it fancy free Oh, okay, Fancy Face Fanciness Checklist offers clean, nourished, soft skin, not unfancy tight dry skin. Hmm. Incorporates use of a cloth, very posh. This seems like a shit post. Special dry skin cleanser, not standard wet skin product. Sophisticated botanical fragrance akin to pri pricey day spa. Multi-benefit the removal of makeup and replenishment of skin in one. Luxurious plant oils only. No silicones or synthetics. Packaging made using diamonds, yachts, and private jet fuel. Has word fancy in the name. Dead giveaway. Yeah, that does seem like a shit post. I was really confused towards the end there. As you could tell, um, I want to be fancy face. Let's see what we got. So this is it. So apparently this is a dry facial cleanser, which kind of freaks me out. And it also takes off your makeup. But does it. I actually use the makeup eraser. I'm planning on making a whole like my skincare routine video soon but um do not use makeup wipes and do not use cotton balls and all that other shit because um we gotta save the planet. Just use the makeup eraser. It works great. I'm not. This isn't a paid sponsorship. Nobody's sponsoring me right now. I love the makeup eraser. But maybe this will help. I might just use it as a cleanser. See how it works. And then it comes with this little, um, this little boy. It looks like a fucking, like, 
at the sacred text. Okay. It's looking... Cute. I'm here for it. Like, no hate on the cloth, bro. Like, fancy free, fa no fancy fresh, go-to face nourishing oil cleanser. Like I said, I have a couple of cleansers lined up. But I try different ones out depending on the time of the year because sometimes I'm a sticky, disgusting bitch and sometimes I'm a dry, fucking Sahara Desert-ass bitch. So it depends. Um, I'm very combination. I'm the most combination you'll ever get. Some days I will be dripping and then other days I literally will have like peelies everywhere, which I've been kind of a peely bitch lately. So next, the one nice thing about getting like the ultimate box or whatever, I don't, is, is that what it's called? I need to like confirm that. Somebody confirm me on that. Is it ultimate? So, uh, you, you get um, full size eyeshadow or like contour palettes, which is nice because I'm a big palette collector. I will show you guys maybe if I ever make a vanity tour. I have a lot of palettes. Uh, so I got this Sakura, S Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Okay, vegan. Seraphine Botanicals. I've used this brand before. I think I have one of their like mini palettes that I've used before, but this brand is vegan. No talc, no mineral oil, no parabens. Parabens. It is like 9 p.m. It is not late for me. No, for th that's not a word. There's no way that is a word. What does that mean? They most definitely made that shit up. Okay, anyways, um, no gluten with evening primrose and sage oils with oregano, lavender, cherry, blossom, and rosemary extracts with vitamin E and hypoallergenic. Oh my god. And it's cruelty-free and vegan. PETA, PETA stands behind this, I think. They got the PETA logo on there. Let's, let's see if I can open this up with my nails. Oh, we got another box inside of a box. Yo, why are we using so much packaging, dude? Like, come on. Because we don't want the palettes to crack, Maddie. Okay, whatever, you're right. Let's see, oh, okay. All right, this is cute. It's like a little, like, awful face palette. So we got some contours, we got some blush, we got some eyeshadows, some, like, basic colors. I, I like more fun ones, but, you know, they got, they got that, like, silver in there, and that shit's a little intense, which I will use, because... I use uh, crazy colors on my makeup. I also like that there's a blush and contour in it because um, I go through that stuff like water, especially contour. Last thing we got are some sheet masks. And the thing that's cool is they don't send you one. They send you three usually. So I got these ones. Love the packaging. Love the... Um, Love the fruit and the foliage on it. It is by One A Day Water Mask. No, vegan. What What the hell? Who made this? Is it just One A Day? Hello Ganic? Alright. I'm having a hard time. So on the back it says Hello Ganic One A Day Green Mask. This one's One A Day Water Mask. And this one's One A Day Fruits Mask. And yeah, they just have different purposes. I like sheet masks because um, sometimes I don't feel like like spreading like uh, an actual mask on my face for some reason it just gets me mad yeah I'm really excited about these I usually do a face mask like once a week so this will last me three weeks so that's pretty cool so some face masks I think this ultimate box is either 25 or 50 bucks I'm not too sure but either or you usually save like a hundred dollars when you add up the price of all of these things because it's 99% of the time super high quality stuff so I'm super excited to try this stuff as you can see a lot of it was self-care things um I might change it to get more makeup a little bit but that is my ipsy september glam bag ultimate box whatever the fuck unboxing uh, I hope you guys enjoyed I don't know if I'm gonna keep doing these I just figured I would because I like when people show shit that they get I just like to watch them so if you like this like let me know because I'll keep making them make sure to like comment and subscribe if you want more content make sure to turn on notifications if you want to know when the fuck I post bro and also make sure to follow all of my social media so I got my two Instagrams my beauty one which is modified makeup by mad if you want to see all my makeup and tattoo stuff or just madeline mcbride underscore if you just want to see me my daily life i post memes on my story so yeah thank you so much for watching guys you guys are awesome i'll see you in the next one bye guys